welcome to my sprouting room in my basement. This is my furnace room. It's perhaps an eight by, I don't know, 10 to 12 foot room. Houses my furnace, my water system, my electrical panel, my hot water heating. And it also is space where I presently am growing sprouted barley that I feed to the chicken during the winter months. So they have some greens to eat and also it provides lots of uh, nutrition. I get my barley seeds from the sprout house and I'll take a mason jar and about a half a cup into the mason jar. I fill this with water so it's all covered and let it set for one day. Then the next day, <clears throat> that's my water pump going off. I'm calling for water because I'm doing laundry at the moment. I pour it into a tray and this is just an aluminum tray that has holes punched in the bottom along one side of it. Probably up to about an inch and a half for drainage. These are on a tilt into a pan that's collecting any of the overflow water. I'll put them in there, spread them out, make sure they're wet, and I'll cover it with a black uh, container to um, mimic the seeds being in the dark and then they'll germinate. Once they start their germination and they get these little root systems on. Then I know that they're about ready to start sending up their, their green stalks. So I take the black off, I replace it with just a plastic and this will be just to keep the humidity up. When the water drains into the bottom, I usually leave it in there until it gets to probably at about a quarter of an inch or something, and then I dump it. But that helps with keeping the humidity up. After a few days, and I think this is two days after this process, and this is another three, two to three days after this process, this tray and you start really getting sprouts on here and this pan you can see will develop a real mat of leaves I don't know if you can or excuse me of roots I don't know if you can see that very well anyway that's okay there we go you want to but I water these every single day. This one has a, um, a little plastic top on it also. Once it gets a little bit too high, then I just take it off. But I will water these with a pump sprayer. Soak them down, and since they are at an angle, they're draining off into this, our little catch basin here. I usually leave the water in here if it's not too high it provides a little bit more humidity. And every day I will come along and I will water these also. These will start sprouting in a day or two, but you want them moist, not to dry out. And these also get a douse of water. That's all it needs. Doesn't need any fertilizer in the water or anything like that. And the excess water on this one runs out into the bottom tray, just like all the others. I find this is the easiest. Nice fine mist. You don't have to use a whole lot of water by dumping it all over. Each one, every single day, needs to be watered. And not let to, to, to dry out. But anyway, so that is my, my procedure for sprouting my barley. And the chickens get it, they love it.
it's just like eating grass to them because there's really not much grass out there, especially when it's covered with snow. And they aren't particularly keen on walking around in the snow. So, okay, just wanted to show everybody a way of providing a little extra nutrition for your chickens in sprouted grains.